In February this year, TV3 News aired a news item on the ripped off roof of the Mumford RC Junior High School. But after the reportage, the District Assembly fixed the roof and made strides in improving access to education. When TV3 first visited the Mumford Junior High School in the Goma West District, it was in a bad state. The structure had not received much renovation since its establishment. Portions of its roof had dislodged, while aluminum sheets hanged loosely, riddled with holes. Teachers told us lessons were disrupted at the onset of rains, while the hanging roofing sheets produced noise. Five months after the reportage, the district assembly has come to the aid of the school. The NADMO director called me, and that's how come I called the engineer to immediately go there and assess the situation and then get us a report. We also had a situation where roofing sheet was removed and we fixed it. We wrote to the assembly and uh, immediately the assembly sent uh, the NADMO personnel to the site to see the situation. And when they reported back, the assembly uh, managed to raise some funds and then put it in place. Chiefs and opinion leaders were grateful to TV3 for the reportage. So far, as I'm not by air, no, this is the assembly. Yaminaduma, Wabo Abasham, we say, said, then we soon in Nina Kama. After the story aired on TV3, the district assembly came to renovate the school and improved upon the school's infrastructure. Thank you, TV3, for airing the story. Yeah, the TV3 for. As we say, as any one of our Kwabaya, the why we are the educational aspect. Why no? The why we are the whole number. Right now, as you can see, the renovation has been done. The repair and maintenance has been done already by the district assembly. So we thank the TV3 crew that when they came in, whatever they capture, I mean, it has bear a better fruit for the community. So we will base on this to thank the TV3 for a good job done. Meanwhile, the District Assembly, in a bid to improve access to education to residents in Mumford, is completing a community school. It will comprise a six-unit classroom block, an ICT center, and a staff common room. We took a decision to put up the school because of the growing population of that school. It's a two-stream school, A and B, but then we have one single classroom for, for all of them. And I'm told the population is about... 800 getting to 900 now. That is what necessitated our attention, attracted our attention to go and put up the school there. So it is going to ease congestion in, in the classroom as well. The community school is expected to be completed in November this year. And as it for mission, mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid, and the EU. Thank you so much for watching.